we've looked at the harmonic series before. Remember the harmonic series is the 1 over n series, so 1 plus 1 half plus 1 third plus 1 fourth plus 1 fifth and so on. Um, it's a series that grows very slowly because the numbers that we're adding on get smaller and smaller, but it is a divergent series. So the numbers in the harmonic series will add up to be bigger than any amount that you could want it to be. If you want them to add up to more than 100, then you can make them add up to more than 100. It would take a really long time to do it, but you could do it. So we're going to look at why the harmonic series actually converges, or I'm sorry, why the harmonic series diverges. Um, and we're going to show that by using the integral test. So if I want to use the integral test here, the first thing I need to do is define a function that models this series. So what is our function going to be? 1 over x. And we're going to evaluate the improper integral. Uh, again, we can use any lower limit. I'm just going to use the first term as my lower limit because we can. Um, there's really no reason to change that unless, uh, unless we would find out that this function is only decreasing after a certain point. Um, or if, if it's only positive after a certain point or something like that. Keep in mind this only works for positive series. So if we have to, we might have to test for absolute convergence here um, rather than, um, well, rather than non-absolute convergence. We'll talk more about that later. Uh, so we're going to evaluate the improper integral of 1 over x with respect to x. And since it is an improper integral, we need to do what? set up the limit. Um, by the way, I will be checking both of these things. Um, you would get a point for a problem like this just for setting this integral up, showing that you're going to use the integral test with this function. Okay. You would also get another point to, uh, by showing that you're going to evaluate that improper integral by using a limit. So I'm going to use t here. So we're going to evaluate that from 1 to t. And what is, what's the antiderivative of 1 over x? That's the natural log, yep. So I'm just going to continue on this line here. This is going to be simple enough. So the limit as t approaches infinity of uh, the natural log of x evaluated from 1 to t. Which is going to be the limit as t approaches infinity of the natural log of t minus the natural log of 1. What is the natural log of 1? Zero, so I don't need to worry about that. Um, and what is this limit going to approach? Yeah, what is, what's the natural log of infinity? Infinity, right? So this integral diverges. In fact, I'm going to write integral diverges so we're not confused about the integral and the series. So the integral diverges because the limit is infinite. Therefore, what? These, yep. The series diverges because of the integral test. Okay. 